the horse will reflect you. <laughs> but what do horses see? They have long distance look, so they can watch uh, somewhere far away. And they also have a short distance look, so they can look in your eyes. And you notice that horses have asked for a lot of eye contact. Here you see a horse who is investigating and he's watching He's looking on the floor, on the ground, to find things that are interested, uh, interesting for him. It's a stallion, and stallions look for more. And he's looking over things so he can pee over it, and you can see. And that's horse language. I mean, uh, dogs do it too, for instance. They also have this language and smell and look and urinate. But what does a horse see? What is important for a horse to see? How does he see? That's, those are questions which are very important, like this horse is focusing uh, around him. It's the same horse, another place, another moment. He's looking around. He's looking, he's, and by looking in two eyes together, he can see the depth. Here you see two horses look in their, in their own eyes, in their eyes. And the gray horse says no, but that wasn't clear, so he has to put a little bit of strength in it. Far away looking. Where the eye goes, the, the ear goes. And so if horses look at each other, they can synchronize. And synchronizing is very important to be happy. And if they're happy, then they have this, uh, uh, this care. Then they, they show care for each other. And then you find a happy horse. Here we go look another time to, a to the same horse who is focusing on things on the floor. He's looking around and he's using no, eyes, nose, and ears. Ears to listen, and you can see very well, if you focus a little bit better, you can see that he is uh, using his eyes, then he smells, and with his ears they tell us what he's looking at. And he's very interested in some horse poo. It's, it's, and this is Fleming. Now he's using his smell to uh, take the smell of the, of the poo which he just smelled. And Fleming is a way to get a, to get a more strong uh, idea about what he just smelled. That's horse language. What do and what do they see? Well, they see things which are interesting for them, and that's a difference. So let's go focus on what horse eyes really. Horses see. have the best developed eyes of all mammals. They have very good eyes and they spot uh, movement. That's what they see. That's what they really see. And it's a matter of cones and rods. And I will explain it in the, in the, in the text. But we also see on the horse the expressions. We can see on the eyebrows how he feels, where he's looking at, etc. etc. Here you see a young horse. And when I walk a little bit around, uh, the horse wants to focus on me with two eyes. That's because then he can see depth so he can decide uh, his distance from me that's for him very important he keeps you see he focuses on me with two eyes because he's a little bit insecure the cones and the rods give a different sight so when they see water they see light we see this we can see depth because we see four colors and even worse it can be that a horse is scared of water because this is what he sees. This is the difference. He sees a shiny thing. How do you get horses to get used to water? Well, let them explore it. Uh, in our place, some we in the Netherlands have a lot of rain, so they can get used to water and they can play with it. And beside of that, uh, water is the first need of all life. If there's no water, they cannot live. So actually, they're not afraid of water. They're afraid of the shine that it gives, of the blinkering, of the shiny. So, if you let, but if you let them play, investigate, they can use eyes, nose and ears, and especially the, the mouth. On the mouth they have special hairs and they use these hairs for feeling. Okay, hope this was interesting. Thank you. And a wink. <laughs>